After tasting terrible defeat at Ai due to hidden sin, Israel learned about the power of purging sin from their midst and following the word of God so that the Lord would be the one who would fight for them. And in chapter 8 of the book of Joshua, we see God giving victory to his people and Joshua leading the people to the word of God. Joshua brings all the people together. Like it says in verse 33, the native born, the foreigners, the elders, the officers, and the judges. And look at what it says in verse 34 and 35. Joshua then read to them all the blessings and curses Moses had written in the book of instruction. Every word commanded that Moses had ever given was read to the entire assembly of Israel, including the women and children and foreigners who lived among them. You see, in this chapter, there are a few key lessons we can learn and follow. Number one, when you fail, not if, but when, because we all do, confess your sin when God reveals it to you. That's what the people did in chapter seven. Number two, refocus on the Lord and deal with the problem appropriately, and then move forward. That's what we see in chapter eight. And then number three, don't wander far from the word of God but stay in his word. The lessons we learn from our failures can make us better, better able to handle the same situation the next time around. You see, God is eager to give us cleansing and forgiveness and strength as we walk with him in purity and obedience to his word.